lead, arsenic, mercury, and dioxin. You don't want any of that near your child's school. You certainly don't, but that's what was found in soil at Radford's track earlier this year, and now the Navy has a plan to deal with it. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has the exclusive developments. What is now Radford High School's track and football field used to be a Navy landfill where incinerator ash might have been dumped. End result, soil contaminated with heavy metals, arsenic, and materials like asbestos. Now it needs to be removed and by the truckload. Now that we have access to the site, we'll be doing our testing as well to verify their numbers to make sure we know what we're dealing with so that the uh, contaminated soils will be um, taken off to the right location and handled correctly. Work will begin this week on building a temporary road in order to avoid using a heavily used exit and entry between Makalapa Elementary and Radford High School that empties onto Salt Lake Boulevard. In early September to mid October, we'll be excavating. And we're excava excavating the track area and uh, the football field. Once that work is complete, crews will put down a liner and bring in clean soil. The Navy says it'll also be responsible for cleaning up two other sites where the soil was taken before anyone realized it was contaminated. KITV first reported the state health officials trace it to this site behind the Kapolei Courthouse. It's not easily accessible and it has been covered. But part of that load was diverted to a second location. Some of that contaminated soil ended up here on Oahu's windward side. Health officials say a homeowner in this subdivision called up the health department worried that he might have some of that contaminated dirt in his backyard. We plan to start the cleanup at the Kaneohe site around the same time we start the work in early September at the Radford High School site. The homeowner told KITV a contractor brought in two truckloads of soil for work on a retaining wall. He just wants the dirt removed so his grandchildren can play in his yard again. Now, the Navy is expected to detail its cleanup plan at a meeting at Radford this Thursday. Families of children who attend Radford, Makalamba Elementary, and Navy Keiki Holly School are being asked to attend. It's to run from 4 to 6. Back to you, Yanji, Kenny.